Hey guys, LJ here from LJ Films and today I just want to share with you guys my setup and I've been shooting with DSLRs for a long time and I've been configuring with, in different ways and finally I came up with my uh, final rig and um, that setup is my run and gunning setup. Um, I've been shooting a lot of styles, films to music videos and such uh, but the most convenient way to actually set up my DSLR is to run around with this camera uh, without any you know heavy weight with counterweight and such and being able to still put it onto a tripod and quickly get it off and still have the stable image and I've been researching a lot of rigs and such and there are some good ones like from Zakuto which is the striker and um, that is my dream kit to have one day but uh, I wanted to uh, try out something like a striker without the money of striker so uh, what I'll be sharing with you guys is how I came up with that setup with just the things I have. So the things you'll be needing is four 8 inch rods or it could be six or any, in any inches you have. Uh, but make sure those are short ones so that you don't want to have a big long uh, rail systems in front of your body. And what you'll be needing is a two tripod mount for your uh, rod system. Uh, one for your tripod and one for where your camera goes. And let me bring up uh, what I have here. And this is what I have. Um, this, this looks simple and that's what I, what I wanted to do. Uh, having a simple rig to quickly attach it and detach it and such as that. So um, what I have here is again one 8 inch rod and another 8 inch rod and a 290 degree clamp and a one handle. You can have different handles and such but that's just it. Uh, when I actually heard about Zakuro's um, Striker or Red Rocks uh, Running Man I, I felt like what kind of shooting style is that does it even actually help and actually trying by my own self it does really help a lot considering compared to your handheld styles so um, to mount this what you basically do is basically attach the 90 degree clamp and at the back so leave some space when you mount your camera on here and after you tighten the screws down then basically you're done get it off of your tripod and use your chest support to place it against your chest hold your handle and hold your lens for your focusing then you're good to go and what's really convenient about this rig is that if you don't like the way you're, you're holding the handle you can actually un uh, unscrew this and position it to wherever you want in my case I find it this is the most convenient way and tighten it down and you can do this in front of a mirror to find the most convenient way and if you feel like putting against your chest is not the proper place to actually place it you can actually unscrew this right here and what you can do is move it from up to down and side to side so depending where your chest belongs or wherever you want it more comfortable you can do so so I'm gonna place it right about my eye because that's my shooting style I'm going to find a perfect spot and lock it down and that's how simple it goes. Um, all you need is a just four eight inch rod and a handle and a rail block and a tripod mount and your camera and you have a shooting style of a Red Rock Nano Man or a Zakuto Striker. And one thing I really like about this rig is that I've attached a strap here so I can put it around my, uh, my shoulders and walk around and wait for the shot. And if I actually get a shot I want, I can just pick this up, pick this one up and start shooting right away. And if you don't like the handles and such and you want to go to a tripod set right away, you can just unscrew this and pop this out and put this onto your tripod and you're good to go. But if you still want to have this on, you can just attach it anywhere you want so that you can just quickly go back and forth from your tripod and shoulder and start shooting your video and you want to go handheld. Just put it around your shoulders, unscrew this from your tripod, and you're good to go. And start shooting, start shooting. And I'm really happy to actually um, came up with this setup, and I'm really loving it. I've shot music videos with this setup, I've shot some short films with this setup, and I'm really liking it. It's not idea to shoot on hours and hours of footage with this kind of setup, but it's just there to actually run around and get shots with stability. And what I have here is a uh, wind muff from wind uh, micro muff so I can actually get audio clean usable audio uh, straight out of my camera we can still attach a road video mic 
And what's really unique about this that compares to Zakuro and others is that you can still attach a follow focus and a matte box. So if you have a longer rods and you know, and put a follow focus on here in a matte box and quickly go back to your uh, shooting style, back to studio, back to your shooting style, that's one thing I like. And one thing I like about this, again, compared to the Zakuro one, is that the price itself. Um, the Zakuro Striker costs around $1,000 or so, but this whole rig, I haven't calculated yet, but maybe I put it down in the description. Uh, but compared to that, it is just uh, nothing and you still get the same result. I'm not trying to say that Zakuro products are bad, they're really high quality stuff and they're really worth the money, uh, but for budget filmmakers like me or someone else who just really needs to get stable footage you know, with the gears you have, this is one way to actually start uh, building up your rig. I have many more setups to actually share with you guys so if you like this kind of videos make sure to like this video and uh, comment and what you feel about this rig. If you like more of my content you can head over to my Vimeo and my YouTube and also check out my Facebook and Twitter. I'll update more resources on there as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.